Recording now. Okay. Uh, blah blah. Hey guys, welcome to Skate Three. Um, this isn't going to be like one of those random let's plays where people just laugh every time you fall. I'm sure if you haven't seen this game, you will probably laugh if I fall half a million times. I just did that my first time. Yep, that was definitely my first try. I haven't been doing this for the past seven million hours. Um, this is let's play is whoa interesting i've never seen something like this um it, am i do i get to choose a picture like i usually do no oh god that's weird okay normally you gotta choose a photo ah uh, that just totally ruined this intro should i just leave it all in focus i wish i could figure out which focus just leaves her in focus that looks good enough right and we zoom in a little bit there um i'm not even sure if that does anything continue okay welcome to skate 3 the reason i'm playing this is to i don't know kind of put a let's play out there that shows skate 3 is not just this comedy uh ha 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 i fell over half a million times for a game uh even though i think that's even what the developers were going for i'm not even sure what they were going for but i like this game uh, basically for all the different unlocks and all the tricks you can pull off even though I know about five and um, oh yeah and I forget to let go of X so I end up pushing myself way too much anyways how do I lay down there that's something I know look at my toes <gasps> a joke I shouldn't have said that this game wasn't supposed to be a joke anyways actually it was this let's play wasn't supposed to be a joke um uh, what was I doing here again? Yeah, words. So anyways, this let's play is just going to consist of me of unlocking stuff while I kind of ramble on about my channel and about this game and stuff. Um, so let's do another mission, considering I only like this for really the missions and unlocking stuff. Pros? What? No, I suck at everything. Um, training? Oh, no, 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 no. Burn that film oh these these are evil oh and that guy's satan okay either that or he's a tennis coach one of the two but he's definitely not a what whatever coach he claims to be which character am i playing as oh and go. still trinity quote unquote i named her trinity because that was the only name i could really think of it seems like a girl's name sort of sounds that no offense to the people who don't end in this sound I'm just saying that's the first thing that pops into my head every time I think of a girl name it usually ends in like an E or like a Y sort of noise or an I sort of noise uh, let's redo this uh, so Trinity ends in that sound and I don't know it sounds like a cool name even though I don't really sure if it would fit as a real name I guess it's her skater name or something. Uh, that's the name I chose. <laughs> Whoa. Had nothing to do with the uh, religious views of the Trinity, considering I don't even believe in the Trinity and I'm a Christian. Or Christian quote-unquote. I mean, in the... Oh, God, now I'm getting on religion. Um, in the Bible, it says what uh, this early disciples were named Christians. And, uh, I have to redo that, don't I? Um, so basically anyone who believes they're correct in their view I'm of the really Bible can like call themselves a Christian because they all think they're followers of Jesus and uh, whatnot. Anyways, uh, I don't believe in the Trinity because the Bible never really says Trinity specifically, even though people claim that it's shown throughout the, uh, Bible. I can't really put blind faith into something that isn't even mentioned in the Bible. Um, I have no idea what I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to be grinding on these. So there. there, there there's a small bit of my religious views in your face. Okay, just one more, one more. Uh, the watch, also, I couldn't put on the right arm. I know I like this game for its customizability, but I couldn't change the watch. Uh, that's one downside. Here, I'll I'll say purely the bad things about this game uh, at the beginning, anyways. 
One, it's impossible to grind. I wish there was a mapped button for grinding, like, instead of just automatically doing it. I know there's this, in uh, Jack and Daxter, there's a button to grind. I kind of wish they did something like this in here. That lady won't get off the freaking jump. Thank you. Grind. That works. <laughs> Dang it. Hang on, let me focus and pass this so you guys can get some... No! Okay. There's five of them. What happens if I go back to get one of them? That works, right? Uh, how do I drift? Ooh! How'd I do that? That, that looks retarded, but how'd I do that? Now the reason why I like this game, I end up figuring out things that I never knew existed. Even my cousin who has this, had this game like ever since it came out didn't know some of the stuff I just like randomly figured out. Killed? How'd I kill that? I missed it. The, the, the two of them I missed. Okay, whatever. Continue. I made... Oh yeah, the point system on here is pretty weird. Okay. Here are the negatives about this game. People seem to try too hard in acting skaterish. I don't know how to put it. Uh, to the point, it's just... just not even not funny. funny. It's funny. just, just sad. sad. Um, um, the, game, the game, the game it, at, at first you think it's going to try to act realistic, realistic because they put... Uh, real people in the first cutscene and then it cuts over to this game so you think oh it's going to act like its graphics are really good or something and then the person instantly flies off a ramp and should have died but didn't and then another guy just comes walking by and says hey will you work for me and it's really stupid because that defeats the whole purpose of it being realistic and the next cutscene kills it of being realistic because it instantly has things falling out of the sky uh literally ow wow first time i fell not really i've tried recording before and i've fallen like 40 million times so that's a bad thing the game doesn't really seem to realize what it wants to be you could say it's a parody trying to be funny of real life or something or skaters maybe um, it doesn't really do that well because when you're parodying something you should sort of have the concept of what you're parodying so people know specifically what you're trying to do um, also for a skater game it has some you know like uh, punk rock in it then they throw in just some random rap and it drives me nuts because I don't like rap that much and uh just like, oh, here's some rap for your ears. And, I don't know. just seemed to be weird how they threw in a lot of music that you wouldn't really associate with the kind of skaters they're trying to portray in this game. Uh, another bad thing is, well, the way you fall seems to piss me off because I fall constantly because I'm not good with this game. And, um... A lot of people laugh at it, like, it's, oh, it's so hilarious, it happens every minute. And I like playing games for the actual, like, game, like, the campaign. The new main selling port for the game, that it's a comedy, kind of kills it for me, because it's like, that defeated the whole purpose of this being a game. It could have just been a movie of a guy falling repeatedly, and people apparently would get the same comedy out of it, because no one knows what comedy is anymore. Um, oh god, I probably just pissed a million people off, didn't I? Whatever, this whole review is full of opinions. Don't get mad at my opinions, because they're just my opinions. Perfect. Death Race, here, this is where I can get even more angry. Um, now for a game I'm trying to say I like, I'm just downing it. Uh, another down thing. Actually, I think that's it. Okay, time to get on to the good stuff. Uh, the good stuff is, it's really, uh, customizable. Like, you get to customize your character, not to every little detail, like in Saint Row or Skyrim or something. Another weird thing about Skyrim is how detailed they make it. And then, 
it, it's just like you never see your character why did you do this to me I think they just throw that in there now because they put it in the first few Scott, uh, Elder Scrolls, so they have to put it in the new ones, or a bunch of fans will be like, what is this blasphemy? Um, oh yeah, I never was able to beat this because everyone for some reason can go faster than me, and I always run into stuff. Like, you may say, push more! Well, after three pushes, you hit your max speed. And I just got hit by a car, there's no way I want to do this. I, I tried this race a million times and I got so annoyed. I think I might have to like upgrade something, but I don't know how. Maybe it's because I don't know how to lean properly. I don't know. So besides character design, uh, some fun things are you constantly unlock new skateboards and new clothes for your character. So that's sort of cool. I always love unlocking stuff. That's why I love ATV Offer Fury so much, because there are so many different tricks you could do, even though I only did approximately two of them, and there, you gotta customize so much, and this sort of takes some of that out of that game, or not takes away, but you know, oh, I gotta change areas. This game annoying. Um. Here, team stuff. You gotta see my other characters. Oh yes, my other characters are based off of friends that I have. And um, for some reason, I never could get them right. I think this is supposed to be my friend Parker, but looks more like my friend Nick. And it's just all confused. What am I doing? Oh yeah, I'm placing a camera and I'm doing a trick. See, I love this. This is really cool in my mind because I'm like... I'm all into photography, and here I just get to screw around with a fake camera. Wow, that was horrible. But hey, maybe I got some weird air photo. Amazing. Okay. And then you get to like, pick photos, which I guess they sell on magazines or something. Don't really know how to... Yeah, I, I guess that's going on billboard. If only in real life you could just like, I don't know, skate around and make tons of cash because you're some guy thinks you're advertising his label like amazingly well. That'd be awesome. If only I knew how to skate. And if only this were real. And I hate that guy so much. That coach dude. Why in the world does he exist? Like, he looks like he belongs coaching tennis. It's... I really don't like that guy. Oh yeah, and you can't do anything while it's loading. Oh, here we go. Edit skaters. Yeah, that's supposed to be a version of Parker. Uh, we were playing as... Oh, that was just some punk rocker I made. Never mind. By the way, JCHC uh, derives from a old Christian punk rock band Officer Negative. They made a song called JCAC, which is basically stands for Jesus Christ Hardcore. And then a lot of Christian punk rock groups uh, use that term, like, a lot. Other bands, let me think. It, it, I can't, I can't, I can't complain again. Again. What is this? Best grind anywhere on the street course. Jam on the street course. Best trick on the center rails. Okay. Shouldn't be too hard, right? He, he said as he was about to plummet to his death in inevitably words. Yes. If you came to my channel to hear good English, you came to the wrong channel. Oh god, there's people. So wait, I'm supposed to do my best trick over the first thing. Oh god, it's one of these things. This isn't a thing. This is just tricks, right? I'm just supposed to do some tricks. Oh, f Okay, I'm not going to fail on this. I got to... It seemed like I was supposed to do, like, a special thing, but to me, this seems like a contest. Oh. 
I call shenanigans. Of course. <laughs> that guy said he doesn't care. I, I can do anything. I'm pull out a 9 mm and shoot both of them. Oh, well, that was violent, Alec. Um, <laughs> sorry. I'm supposed to be grinding on it. Yes, here we go. Watch me grind things, people. Yeah. Okay, so I get points for, like, grinding. Okay. And, you know, the thing that I, I'm the worst at. Can I grind this thing? Yes. But I couldn't. Move. Ooh, that guy failed. We're all just falling. This is just... Ma oh, okay, I'm... Ah. <laughs> uh. Ooh. Everyone left. Now I can just goof around. This is awesome. Okay. Hooray. Um, actually, no, it's not because I don't get any points for this. Um, what was I even talking about? Okay, so let's get to one of my favorite parts of the game. Uh, let's customize my just random dude. I think I was going to do my cousin, but uh, this character looks like I couldn't really customize too much. I made him super skin. Actually, I think this was originally going to be like me, but there's no hairstyle in the game that fits me really. So I just made a random guy, and I gave him a soul patch, and yeah, tattoos. I'm going to put a tattoo on my skin chest of this thing. Is that on my back? No. Okay then. Go back. I don't want a tattoo. Thank you. Body shape. Ah. Uh, I think PewDiePie made his character, like, as fat as he freaking good. I'm not sure. Okay. So, my favorite part about this game is all the different things you can unlock. Like, I mean, you got different socks you can unlock. Um. I actually, I was one of those weirdos who liked PlayStation Home. And wasn't one of those weirdos who liked PlayStation Home just to be a creep. I liked just like customizing my character. I would spend hours customizing my freaking character. So th this just has the ultimate replay value uh, in my small brain. Just because of all the different things you can unlock. Like this thing. I have to sell 200,000 boards. I need to get out and sell 200,000 boards. Let's go, guys. Ha ha ha, so funny. I've seen it a million times. Sorry, I'm just going to skip that. I'm sure there's at least one person out here there that also plays this legitimately and did a playthrough of the horrible campaign. I, I like the campaign, but I don't really like the story because it isn't really a story. <laughs> I, I, this is one of the few games I actually like for gameplay. Um, I usually buy games for their story, which is why I'm trying to get into RPGs, because they have, usually have a decent story to them. The problem is I don't like the gameplay of RPGs, and that's one of the main things about, crap, I thought I could, never mind. Um, that, you know. One of the main things of video games is the gameplay, and uh, I play games for gameplay and story, and it's hard nowadays to find both for some reason. Or you could just get Call of Duty and get neither. Oh god, there goes... Dang it, I'm just like... Everyone's going to hate me. <laughs> Making my channel better? Nope, just insulting every different gaming franchise that's popular. Um... I'm not trying to justify this game like saying, you know, it, it had a really decent d idea from the start and that it it's one of the best games ever made. I'm not saying that. It 
it's not a great game, but it's a good game and it definitely deserves more credit and it definitely doesn't deserve the type of credit it's getting now by just being a comedy, even if that's what the producers were going for. Crap, no, not, not accepting that. If it was resold as something with like related to addicting gameplay, everything else is crap or something like that, uh, that would be probably the best way to describe this game. This game would have been amazing if it was released on PS2, oh my gosh. Was it released on PS2? I actually don't know. Oh my gosh, I need to check that out. If it was released on PS2, this game deserves a, a Game of the Year award. <laughs> Probably will. So many people are just like, eh, I won't play the game. Uh, it'd be like, what? Most retarded uh, Game of the Year award released or something. Has Call of Duty ever gotten a Game of the Year? I, I hope not. Unless it was like one of the originals pre-2010 or something. I like this game because it has decent gameplay. And because it's just... I guess you could say... It's funny for the first few times you play it, but it's definitely not like a selling point. Uh, which I think some people... A lot of people have been going out buying this game because PewDiePie played it and it's so funny. And I'm not sure if like Nerd Cubed or... Uh, can or cry no definitely not cry uh have played it actually now saying that uh, no cry wouldn't play this game would he like for youtube anyways i'm not sure now anyways here's a trick <laughs> i might have already done that one it's the only trick i know There's a similar trick. I think I actually won this the first time by just flipping out and doing random tricks, which I think that's how I used to beat Jack and Daxter, uh, the trick challenges. I just like stood there and did this. Crap, crap, pick up your board and do a trick. Do another trick. Do something besides hop. Should I accept it? Should I accept my failure? I mean, I did come in second. Fine. Fine, I accept it. Okay. Uh, I like this game because gameplay. That's it, really. It, it, it doesn't stand as a comedy, and it doesn't stand really as anything else. Just something where you unlock some cool stuff, and if you can get it for, like, under 20 bucks, it's worth it. Um... If you have just tons of money laying around, you should maybe get it new. Uh, just because, hey, there's a new copy of a game. Pay to get the actual cover instead of the GameStop crap where they put it in a sleeve. Yeah, it's bad enough they did it with PS2 games. Now they're doing it with PS3 games. Ooh, pick up my board. Use the force. There we go. Get off the board. Ooh, I think I can... Yeah. I did a thing, guys. I actually learned a few tricks uh, from my cousin, but I forgot all of them. I wish when your competition wrecked, uh, they didn't, like, stay in the game, but you could. That might make it too easy, I'm not sure. There's no- oh yeah, also the, uh, points of your- the people you're versing varies, so sometimes it's actually really hard and really easy on, like, the same exact level. Uh, that's a downer, too. There's a lot of downers to this game. There's a lot of good things too. If you just played it, you would understand, I guess. You would. It's a love-hate game, I guess. Um, if you're easily amused, I guess you would want to play this as a comedy. Because I don't know. Pick it up 
if you just want something fun to goof around on for an hour or something. Um, if you're really into customizing characters and you've bought all the games with customizable characters except for this one, uh, pick up this one I guess, <laughs> then nothing really else to say. Sorry that this there wasn't really much to this let's play. If you want to see the funny parts of this, watch PewDiePie play it. Uh, his reactions definitely make the funny bits uh, funny because, I don't know, his reactions just managed to make everything funny. Um, even this repetitive stuff. And that's also, I think, why he didn't play it like 100 episodes or something because that would get really old and it wouldn't be funny by the 10th episode. Anyways... See you guys next time. Hope you don't hate me too much. Bye. Actually, no. This is after the credits. Um, not sure if I remember to mention this, but this episode is just a fun random thing. Look at my toes. Um, it's my series of videos and stuff aren't going to be up for probably a month or something this is just a fun thing that i'm doing randomly it's not the beginning of a me getting back on to youtube uh i'll do that eventually once i finish recording one series or something uh this was just a fun edited thing i wanted to put together uh overview of skate 3 before it becomes even more beat into the ground uh, let's end this on a high note. I'll do something entertaining. I will drive myself off a cliff. Okay, I can't do that because I haven't unlocked it yet. I will do something entertaining, I promise. Hang on, I gotta figure out something. I'm high up. Can I get higher? Real life, I'm afraid of heights. Here we go. Crap. Well, that's all you get. Me, face playing into the ground. See ya. Oh my gosh, I just turned into Sly Cooper. Okay, that game, that, th this game deserves million stars for that.